This is July 24th, 2000. I'm at EC 492, the New York mine. Uh, this, the Buffalo, Idaho, and several other groups of workings around here were also uh, worked collectively as the Shamrock Group at one point, but uh, we're going to go ahead and do all these separately. Uh, looking uh, kind of along the access road that comes in from uh, Road 492, the eastern access, and then it uh, continues on around the point here to the Buffalo, Idaho, and then uh, eventually reconnects uh, just past the Buffalo, Idaho again with 492. Uh, the map we have from the MLA report shows 11 adits uh, at this particular location right here, uh, all of which were caved, but the main working down by the mill site. And then two other adits, so one called the uh, Georgia adit and one called the Mississippi adit on their report, uh, which are to the east of here. I know I found one of those earlier, and I'll get that on my way out, and I'll look for the other one as well. I believe the Georgia adit is probably the one that Shannon and Reed had as the uh, anaconda working. So we'll, uh, we'll do that as we head on out. Uh, right here above this access road and actually right along it, you can see some of this. There's an old beam right here. Uh, quite a bit of uh, loose rock rubble. Uh, looks to be kind of sloughed out in the hillside here. As you go up the hill, there's little troughs. Uh, these could easily be short caved adits. Uh, just a little bit of rock rubble kind of thrown out on the slope, not really much in the way of waste dumps. Then uh, just down below me here, you can't see too much, but uh, you can see quite a bit of rock right there. That's probably another one of these caved adits. Uh, some right over here in the trees is uh, probably another one. I'm not going to spend much time on these unless I actually find one that are open and then uh, get down to the main level and the uh, buildings that are down there, or at least were down there. We'll take a look and see what we can find. This is one of the collapsed adits. Again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but I did want to show some of the items that were here. Here's an old uh, flywheel of some kind for some sort of device that they had up here. Uh, this dump, here's another, uh, here's another piece over here. This dump is fairly large actually. A uh, little access road goes on out to the east. But uh, there's quite a bit of material here. It's real hard to see because of all the trees. And then uh, just above me is also another dump that uh, has, is fairly sizable. Another piece of uh, scrap metal there. Looks like there was a little shed or something here, a little platform. You can see this uh, little kind of a bale lifting device or small tube of some kind. Uh, then over here we got another muck bucket kind of device. Maybe for hauling ore and or waste rock up. Uh, another cave data was right up here. And then this is the dump. You can see the face kind of comes down over and goes down quite a ways. Uh, another little waste dump down below. So quite a series of these all along this hillside. Again, they're all caved. Uh, really not going to do too much with uh, any of this stuff because it's well above the creek up here. Don't know if you can hear Fall Creek or not, but it's uh, just down below me here. So I'll work my way on down, see if I can find some of the stuff down there. Uh, I might also mention that just up behind me on this flat right above here was the remains of an old collapsed cabin. Looks like it was a little log cabin or a little log shed. In fact, I think you can see part of the roof uh, pieces up there. It's totally collapsed and nothing much there anymore. Come down now to the main working at the New York mine. And uh, this is an open at it. You can see the uh, portal is, is kind of a poured concrete here, or a, a uh, cement structure that they uh, put around. An old building here. 
this is open there was a door on as you can see but it's uh, fallen down or been taken off rails uh, extend on back in looks in pretty good shape there's there is some water trickling out here I'll get a little sample of that uh, kind of seeps in and underneath and disappears but uh, looks like maybe a gallon or so a minute not really a lot but uh, it does stand open pretty well back there not a lot of rock on the floor so it's uh, in pretty good shape it looks like <coughs> the access road comes in from over here to uh, 462 or 469 whichever 649 whichever road is I think I've mentioned it before for the Buffalo Idaho in any case uh, another little cabin here a little tar sided uh, cabin looks like another one was here it looks like this might have been a log structure originally it's pretty well uh, gone now this one's in pretty bad shape looks like a lot's been scavenged off of it and then uh, over here I presume this was uh, a workshop uh, there's a concrete slab floor it was a pretty sizable structure and then over on this side going down toward the creek is the mill and uh, this looks like this was probably the ore chute right here and was probably gravity fed down into a crusher and supposedly there was a flotation uh, site here at one time um, flotation mill small one but uh, I don't really see anything in the way of tailings but I haven't really been down there looking yet Fall Creek comes in just below here and is going pretty fast so it may have taken out uh, most of the stuff uh, and washed it on down already you can see a lot of old core boxes down here and these were uh, from some core drawing it was done I'm not sure exactly when but I believe it's in the literature somewhere so we'll try to get that uh, at some point in time in any case uh, I'll go over here and take a little better look at this waste dump it's fairly sizable